Hey y'all. Um, I just want to talk about self love today. Oh, kind of loud. I hope y'all doing okay during this uh situation that's going on in our world right now. I hope that you're doing okay. Um, loving yourself. I remember when I was on such a self-destructive path and self-sabotaging, uh, over-drinking. I'm talking about overdoing it. Um, just rebellious and just bitter and depressed. Hope, feeling hopeless. And friends and family would say, girl, you need to love yourself. And I would get frustrated because I really didn't know how. And it sounds easy. But what is loving yourself? It's always somebody that needs to hear the message that you matter. And I want to let you know today that you matter. You matter. Your life matters. Your feelings matter. You matter. If nobody told you today, I want to let you know you matter. I don't know what you're going through. But I want to let you know if you are struggling with self-love or you don't know how to start or how to start loving yourself. What I want to tell you is that self-love is basically having a healthy relationship with yourself. A healthy relationship. It's affirming yourself. It's uh, setting boundaries against people who don't treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, which is you deserve honesty. You deserve truthfulness. You deserve integrity. You you deserve to be treated like the king or the queen that you are. You deserve respect. And if you don't get it, loving yourself and saying, well now, I have to remove you from my life or remove myself from the situation because I deserve better than this. And you don't have the capacity to give me what I deserve. Therefore, you have to be removed from my life. So if you find yourself settling for crumbs, taking mistreatment, you got to look at yourself and say, why? Why am I allowing this? It's, it's a possibility that you don't feel good enough. You feel like you can't get better. You feel like this is the best that you can get. But that's not true. You can have a good relationship. You can have a good job. You can step out and operate in your purpose and in your gifts. You can have those desires of your heart. And you are worthy of love. But I say every decision that you make stems from how you see yourself. Self-love is not being perfect. Self-love is recognizing where you are and what you need from you, from God and making those deposits into yourself to get you where you need to be. When this pandemic first started anxiety rose up within me like the second week into it and I found myself scared you know what I'm saying? Not scared but well yeah scared and I couldn't sleep because my heart was just racing as I was laying in bed thinking about <laughs> the troops and thinking about uh, the purge and over, over just over exaggerating my fear was just magnifying situations that wasn't real and I f didn't feel safe and my faith in God was tested and I recognized okay I don't trust God like I thought I did and so I started making deposits into my faith I started making deposits into me I started meditating more even more I started um, praying a lot you know I got off social media because the news was putting that fear in me and so I removed myself <laughs> from what was throwing me off and I started loving me by making deposits into what I needed that's what self love is it's making deposits into you It's I make a, a, a um, analogy in my book about your child, if your child fell and scraped their knee, 
If you love your child, you're going to go get the peroxide, you're going to go get the alcohol, the band-aid, the nail spore, or whatever, and you're going to nurture them back to health. And that's what loving yourself is, is being able to nurture yourself back to health, is being able to maintain your peace by applying the tools that I put in this book. So, first have the awareness that well, have the awareness of the relationship that you have with yourself. Is it healthy? Because if your relationship with yourself ain't healthy, your relationship with others is not going to be healthy. Your, the relationship that you have with others is a mirror of your relationship with yourself. How is it a mirror? Because it's showing you what you will accept and what you want. If you're in a situation that you're not happy in a relationship that you're not happy in, you have to say, okay, I'm in here because I choose to be here. Nobody is putting a gun up to my head and say, be in this situation, so I'm here. I can't look at nobody but me. Nobody can't do nothing to you without you allowing them to do it. So that you'll have to look at yourself and make the necessary adjustments to get yourself and get your life where it needs to be. So, if you sitting at home and you need some help on your self-love journey, please get my book. I talk about my depression, about having panic attacks back to back. I talk about when you're depleted and you'll take crumbs thinking you're getting a full course meal from people because you're starving like a sponge sucking up. The toxic the toxicity of sucking up the crumbs that they're giving you, sucking up the compliments, and thinking it's something, but it's really not. Nobody can't feel your cup. You gotta feel your own cup. You gotta be able to feel your own cup. And I start telling you how in this book. So if you need help on your journey, please get my book Loving Me. It comes in ebook and paperback. Uh $4.99 for the ebook, $9.99 for the paperback. And I got my song, Loving Me, to help you recognize your value. You matter. You matter. And Loving Me is on Amazon, uh, iTunes, all the digital platforms for 99 cents. So, I just wanted to talk about self-love. I'll talk about uh, another tip probably tomorrow or the day after. Self-love. And holler at me if you have any questions. Be encouraged. You matter.